Hi everyone, it's Alina. I'm a digital marketer here at Deselect and today I am joined with Zandra. She's our customer success manager. Hi everyone. And today we're going to talk about birthday campaigns. So birthday email campaigns are really crucial for marketeers to use since consumers tend to spend more during their birthdays and it also shows that customers who receive a birthday promo code campaigns are more loyal to the brand. So it's really been Official to use this easy to implement strategy and uh, yeah today we're going to tell how you can do it. Birthday emails stand at a staggering 481% that's for the transaction rate. In addition to that they are also at 382% higher revenue per email uh, than the, the, the other or the rest of the promotional email so it's really a huge impact. Yeah, and uh, today we are going to show how you can create an easy birthday promo code campaign in Salesforce Marketing Cloud using the select segment. So, seeing how successful birthday campaigns can be, you want to create one as well, for sure. So, you want to create a customer's birthday email campaign with promo code that is only available for a limited amount of time. You already have the birthday of all your customers on your customer data extension, but you also want to add a new field to your target data extension that contains the promo code expiration date, which is, let's say, 45 days from the customer's birthday. So what we're going to do is to actually recreate it in Salesforce Marketing Cloud using a no-code segmentation solution, which is the select segment. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we have our new selection, and the first step is actually to name our selection let's say birthday promo code uh, campaign and on our available data extension section over here here is where we will be searching for our data extension that we want to use which is customer data extension and for us to be able to select it all we have to do is very simple drag and drop it to our selected data extensions we'll be having a pop-up where we can optionally provide an alias for our data extension however it's anyway short so let's just keep it as it is and that's it that's how you select your customer state extension we go now to the, our second uh, step which is the target definition where we will be creating our target data extension so let's start creating a new one let's say this is birthday campaign um, data extension and let's save it now what we want to do here is to define the fields that will go into our target data extension so i would say i want the first name of my customers i want their email address as well and um yeah that's fine for me now the most important thing that we were saying earlier is about the new field that we want to actually create and include in this target data extension so here we want to add a new field where it will contain the expiration date of the promo codes so here if you can see we have custom values we can use a custom value um, to do what we're trying to achieve so let's create a, a one so just click on the add new value button over here we can name it um, promo code expiration expiration date and click on the apply formula to a field so this is the type that we want uh, to use hit next and select transform date hit next and here we have our transform date setting so here we'll be selecting the data extension and the field that we want to um, transform so we said that from the date of the birthday we want to add 45 days to determine the expiration date of the promo code so that is what we're going to do here we'll be selecting the data extension and the field so that will be the customer state extension and the um, the birthday as well and we will be adding here 45 days to the birthday so uh, that's already set now we can choose the format either we want to add it as date and time or only date so for me it's okay to just put date you will also be having um, option to actually convert your um, date into a specific time zone so here in this case i wouldn't be converting it to any time zone so i'll keep it as it is but if you do need to then feel free to turn on the toggle and choose the time zone where you want to convert the date 
So once you're happy, and I'm happy with this setting, so let's just simply say that. And we can now add this to our target data extension field by dragging and dropping it. Now, once we are all set with our fields, we can hit save data extension and start creating this. Let's go to our third step, which is the preview. Let's just quickly run preview this. And here I am expecting three fields. I will need to see the name, the email, and the additional field that we have set, which is a promo code um, expiration date. And that's it. That's how you do it in the select segment. How successful have your birthday campaigns been? Let us know. We're curious um, about it. And also, don't forget to share your ideas down in the comment um, for some Salesforce marketing cloud scenarios that you want us to tackle in the future. Yeah, and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss out on the videos about Salesforce Marketing Cloud, best practices and deselect updates. Also, make sure to subscribe to our newsletter. The link you can find in the description to this video. Thank you for watching and bye. bye.